Sir Arthur's channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve quadratic equations using quadratic formula. This is part of the second learning competency in Mathematics 9. So, learn and love math with Sir RP. We have this most essential learning competency. The learner solves quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, factoring, completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. For this specific session, we will focus on solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Are you ready to learn? Set back, relax, and get ready to learn. Let's have a short preliminary activity. It's entitled, It's Good to be Simple. You're going to simplify each of the following expressions. Are you ready? Let's start. Simplify 6 plus square root of 9 over 2 times 3. Okay, so we have the solution. Square root of 9 is 3. So that is 6 plus 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9 over 6. Then we simplify it. We have 3 over 2 or 3 halves. Next, negative 6 plus square root of 16 divided by 2 times 3. Get the square root of 16. That is positive 4. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. And divided by 6, the result will be negative 1 thirds. Next, negative 6 minus square root of 36 minus 20. Divided by 2 th times 1. That is, we have this solution. Well, we'll subtract first 36 and 20, we get 16. Then take the square root of 16, that is 4. Negative 6 minus 4 divided by 2, the result will be negative 10 divided by 2, which is negative 5. And we have this, another example. 6 minus square root of 36 minus 2 divided by 2 times 1. It's just the same with the previous example, but this time it's positive 6. We have the solution. First, take the difference of 36 and 20. We have 16. Take its square root. That is 6 minus 4 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. That's the answer. This time, let's define quadratic formula. The equation derived from the method of completing this square, which can be used for solving any quadratic equation. Given the standard form of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the solutions of any quadratic equation are x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Remember this? This is the formula in solving quadratic equation. Okay, let's have the examples. Find the solutions to the equation x squared plus 6x equals 9 using the quadratic formula. Recall the things we discussed in illustrating quadratic equations wherein we identify the values of a, b, and c, and we transform the given equation to its standard form. With this, we have the solution. First, write the equation in standard form, identify the values of a, b, and c. So from the given equation, we have x squared plus 6x is equal to 9. It is not written in standard form. We need to change it to standard form by using the addition property of equality. From there, we get x squared plus 6x minus 9 is equal to 0. Then we're going to identify the values of a, b, and c. For the quadratic term, we have x squared. Therefore, the value of a is equal to 1. For the linear term, we have positive 6x. Therefore, the value of b is equal to positive 6. And for the constant, we have negative 9. And the value of the constant or c is negative 9. That's it. Remember the pattern? ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now that we already have the values of a, b, and c, we're going to plug in the values to the formula I presented in the previous slide. That is, 
x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Just substitute the values. So we have the solution. We have a, which is 1, b, 6, and c, negative 9. From there, substitute the values. We have b, which is 6, 6, and then a, which is 1, c, which is negative 9, and a, 1. Simplify. We have negative 6 plus minus 6 squared is 36. Then we're going to simplify negative 4 times 1 times negative 9. This, we have negative 4 times 1, it's negative 4 times negative 9, it's positive 36. Then proceed to the next step. Simplify, we have negative 6 plus square root of 72 because 36 plus 36 is 72 divided by 2. Then take the square root of 72. Considering that uh, 72 is not a perfect square, we're going to find two numbers such that one is a perfect and the other is non-perfect square to simplify the given expression. So in this case, we have 36 times 2. For that matter, the result would be 6 is square root of 2. From there, we have negative 6 plus minus 6 square root of 2 divided by 2. Then negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3 square root of 2. And this is now the final answer. Now we're going to separate the answers. We have negative 3 plus 3 square root of 2 and negative 3 minus 3 square root of 2. And that's it. That's how to solve quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. Text example. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x equals 27 by using quadratic formula. Just remember the process. You need to write it first in standard form. Identify the values of A, B, C, and plug in the values to the quadratic formula. You have the steps. Write the equation in standard form. If it's not written in standard form, considering that the given is not yet in standard form, we need to transform it first. So from there, we have 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27. We use addition property of equality by subtracting both sides with 27. So that is 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 is equal to 0. Then we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 2 b is positive 3, and c is negative 27. Next, from there, we're going to substitute the values to the quadratic formula. Plug in the values. We have negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 27 divided by 2 times 2. That is, we have negative 3 plus minus 3 squared is 9. 4, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times negative 27 is positive 216 all over or divided by 4. That is 9 plus 216 is 225. Take the square root of 225, that is 15. Negative 3 plus minus 15 divided by 4, simplify the given. We have negative 3 plus 15 divided by 4, it's 12 divided by 4, which is 3. And the second solution is negative 3 minus 15 divided by 4. It's negative 18 divided by 4. We need to simplify it. We have negative 9 over 2. And these are the solutions to the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27. Next example. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 7x is equal to 9 by using quadratic formula. The same process that we're going to apply. Write it in standard form. That is 2x squared minus 7x minus 9 is equal to 0. And then identify the values of a, b, and c. In this case, we have the value of a which is equal to 2, b negative 7, and c is equal to negative 9. Again, just remember the form ax squared plus bx 
plus c is equal to zero. That is why we have two, negative seven, and negative nine. From there, we substitute the values to the quadratic formula. That is negative times negative seven, considering that b is negative seven. So we have negative times negative seven plus minus square root of negative seven squared minus four times two times negative nine divided by two times two. So negative one or negative times negative seven is positive seven because according to the rule in multiplying the integers, negative times negative is positive. The negative seven squared is positive 49. Negative four times two is negative eight times negative nine is positive 72 divided by four. Add 49 and 72, we have 121. Take the square root of 121, we have 11. Then simplify. 7 plus 11 is 18 divided by 4, that is 9 over 2. And 7 minus 11 is negative 4 divided by 4, it's negative 1. That's it. We have the last example. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation negative 28 plus 8x plus 3x squared equals 0 by using quadratic formula. Again, remember the steps. We have to write it in standard form. From there, we get 3x squared plus 8x minus 28 equals 0. Then we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. a is equal to 3, b is equal to 8, and c is equal to negative 28. Then we plug in the values to the formula we get negative 8 plus minus square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 28 divided by 2 times 3. That is 8 squared is 64, negative 4 times 3 times negative 28 is positive 336. At 64 and 336, we get 400. Take the square root of 400, we have negative 8 plus minus 20 divided by 6. Then simplify negative 8 plus 20 divided by 6 is 12 over 6, that is 2. And the negative 8 minus 20 divided by 6 is negative 28 over 6, which is negative 14 over 3. These are our examples for solving quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. Now we go back to our most essential learning competency. The learner solves quadratic equations using quadratic formula. I hope that we achieve this target with examples given earlier. For your practice, answer the following questions. What are the solutions to the quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0? Use the quadratic formula to solve 2x squared is equal to 5x plus 9. For your answers, please use the comment section. And that ends our session for today. Thank you, Keeper Philippines, for the slides used in this presentation. Once again, thank you and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates. This is Sir RP.